morning. I wanted to show you something. Um, now, there are ways. Um, our ancestors, they didn't have measuring spoons, measuring cups. They did it all by sight. Now, I don't like just dumping and hoping that I'm right. So what I do is I will use my hand. Now, let me get the salt shaker. I was going to do it just from the bowl, but then I just realized that I can't. Okay, so here we have about a teaspoon of salt. Okay. And here we have whoops, about a tablespoon of salt. Okay? A little bit less, but still about a tablespoon. Now, the first time that you do this, I would suggest that you level out a tablespoon and pour it into your hand. What does it look like? And in most cases, it's better to have a little bit less than a little bit more. But what does it look like? Okay, you have your tablespoon. And you pour it into your hand. What does it look like? That is a tablespoon of salt. So then, oh, I need a teaspoon of something. Okay, so I'm going to measure it out with a teaspoon. And pour it into my hand and see what it looks like. So, here we go. I'm just going to use the teaspoon, but, okay, so here is, let's see. A little bit more. That looks like about a tablespoon. Let's see if I'm right. Okay, about a tablespoon of salt. So the first time, first couple of times you do this, measure it into your hand so that you get an idea of what a tablespoon looks like. And actually, when our ancestors said a tablespoon, they were talking about the type of tablespoon that you use at the table, but not a, and they were used talking about a teaspoon, they were talking about... They were talking about this kind of a spoon that you would use at the meal. When they talked about a tablespoon, they were talking about this that you would use at a meal. So I'm going to pour some salt. I'm going to give myself a tablespoon of salt. Okay. And as you can see, our modern tablespoon is actually less than a standard tablespoon, but not by much. Okay. I would not suggest, um, initially, I would not suggest trying this with things like baking soda that have to be precisely measured. But if you're just, you know, some recipe calls for a tablespoon of flour or a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of salt, okay? I'd say that's about half a teaspoon. Let's see if I've got a half a teaspoon here. No, but I do have a quarter teaspoon. Let's see if that's two quarter teaspoons. There's one. There's two, two quarter teaspoons, so approximately half a teaspoon. But you get used to what it looks like in your hand. Um, you can do it on a piece of paper, in a bowl, whatever, um, but as long as you can visualize what the amount is. Um, I will talk with you later.